like Emily Henry. I still don't know what to rate this book. Two? 2.5. I loved Beach Read and Book Lovers. I did not like People We Meet on Vacation. And then there's Happy Place. I still really liked the writing in this and the banter was solid. The story though, the plot, the characters. Wynne was useless and not in the way that he hates himself useless. But he didn't fight for Harriet in the past or the present. Didn't go to her at all. Harriet was the one who kept going to win, making moves, putting in the effort. Were y'all actually in love after so many years? And were you actually so in love that Wynne in his depression broke up with Harriet in a two minute phone call? Every time that we had a time jump, I was completely pulled out of the story. The transition just plucked me entirely out. And I either had to take a little break or give myself a little pep talk just to get back into the story. Who we'll start reading again after that very jarring jump. This book relies on miscommunication, but take it a step further and it's the complete lack of communication. Harriet has internal monologue but never says shit. Wynne does not fight for Harriet or step up at all. Even the friend group doesn't talk. There's a character, Cleo, who says in the book that we spent four hours watching movies when we could have just been talking and catching up. So it's not just the miscommunication trope, it's the no communication. It's no communication at all, just vibes, just bad vibes. What also blows my mind is that the whole friend group kind of implodes and Harriet goes talk to Parth because Parth is just sitting there after Sabrina just kind of like ran away and Parth didn't think whatsoever to go after Sabrina to find Sabrina. He only realized that he should have went after Sabrina after Harriet told him to. These two are supposed to be in love and get married and you can't even go after her? Like I said, the banjo was still so good, the writing was good. I love the found family dynamic. Although in the present, you don't really see them much as a family. Like at all, there's so much tension and they're just all trying to hide it and sweep it under the rug. I can now see that not all of Emily Henry's books are gonna be a hit with me, but I will keep reading. I have like two out of the four. I still need to read the fifth. I am keeping my hopes alive. Tell me honestly, how do you feel about this book? 